everyone, it's Dreed's back again with whether or not it's Final Fantasy VII walkthrough. So last time we uh, we met Tifa, we uh, went through the memory from our childhood, and we learned a little bit about Materia, got a couple of items, a new Materia, and just little things like that. So I came down here and just talked to the guards. Uh, you guys cannot, we cannot go that way. And they didn't really have anything interesting to say, but, you know, I talk to everybody. I'm very social. Okay. So, now we are headed to our next mission. We are going to blow up another reactor. Yo! This ain't no private car, so split up. Hoodlums again, God. Don't I just have all the luck? So, he don't like the hoodlums. Too bad, buddy. We got a mission to do. We're gonna blow stuff up, because we are eco-terrorists. That's so horrible, guys. We shouldn't joke about that. You say something? I said, you say something. Now look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It's empty because of guys like you. Yipes. You've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Medgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? I won't give in to violence something something <clears throat> and a bunch of expletives from Barrett aka Scarecrow so what are we gonna do now as you can see we're busting up his rhythm anyway so there's gonna be a, s a set of uh, checkpoints that we're gonna have to run through but we're also gonna wanna talk to these guys on the way that I will be showing you guys so we can get these items like I said I am doing a hundred percent we're going for a hundred except not the complete notes I'm gonna let you guys do the perfect notes and if anybody gets stuck or needs help I will upload a video to show you how to do them because some of them are very tedious and it would take <clears throat> A lot of time that I really don't want to do since I've already got a perfect file going it's not finished but it's going so uh, I'll definitely show you guys on how to do it if any of you all need help on some of them when we get to them but for now let's go on all right in three minutes we're jumping off the train something 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 got it Okay, so also guys, we want to get to the last train car without being detected right here so we can get plus five affection for Barrett to help us with the date scene later on. Anyway, so, hmm, it looks like you've seen this already. <laughs> it's alright, come a little closer. Okay, so, Tiff is flirting with us, it seems. That's odd. The ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A. Security alert. Unidi <laughs> Unidentified passengers confirmed. Yeah. So they're going to search all the cars looking for us. They found us. We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry. Get to the next car. Someone blew it. Let's go. Keep it up. So, we have to travel all the way back. And we're going to talk to him even though we are in a time crunch. It's the same dude that said it was his home. <coughs> and he gave us... I didn't really get to see what he gave us, but he gave us something. I think it was a phoenix down, maybe, or a high potion. 
Just fun. Changing the plan two. Okay, so we're gonna come down here and talk to this guy. Do you want this? Yeah. Hot potion. So I think the first one was a phoenix down. Okay, now in this car, actually, when we run by pickpocket, steal something from us. So we gotta go back and you, we select the second option. I'm pretty sure, and he gives us the item back. So it's most likely one of the items you just stole. He stole it from, or you didn't steal. You got gave to you, but he stole them from you, and then you get them back by confronting him. Okay, they're tracking us. Right there's the guy. See, he he, nowhere to run. By any chance, busted. Yep, that's right. <clears throat> okay. And now we go on. And we did not get caught. So, good job, everybody. Alright, we made it. Yo, this way. Let's go. We're going to dive out of here. Scary, huh? Too late for that now. Why'd you come along anyway? Because. Hey, you two. There ain't no time for that. So I wonder why she came. Was it because of us? Was it because she really wants to be with Avalanche? Find out next time on Naruto. No, I'm just playing, guys. Uh, we will find out, though. So, of course, Barrett's gonna tell us to jump first, cause he's the leader and he he thinks he needs to be the captain that goes down with the ship if it happened. But he dives and he actually leaves all three of them here, <laughs> so he didn't stay for last, liar. But interestingly, interestingly enough. The three of them do make it off, as we will see. Good. So far, everything is going as planned. Don't let your guard down till we get to the Sector 5 reactor. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it! Okay, so... Okay, so the reactor's down this tunnel, but if we headed back this way and went five screens down if you made it to the last train car without getting caught there is a door where endless spawn of Shinra soldiers are guarding a door and you can level up there if you want but we're gonna actually look for an enemy called the grass strike because it sometimes uh, drops yeah these things right here they uh, drop the silk web and that uh, cast slow on enemies and most bosses are susceptible to slow early bosses especially so I mean if you want to go that route they are actually you know kinda useful at this point so there you go guys if you want any of those I'm just gonna do a little bit of leveling um, so, we got these rocket launchers, they're pretty easy. Had four of them, la di dee dee And we will move on, I think, yes. And here is where we want to go. And this is the entrance to the reactor down the shaft. But, uh, I'm not sure what I came back to do here. I think I might have been coming back to get a couple of those, but I don't see why I didn't cut that, so we'll see. We'll see what my plan was. And there was one of the spider webs that I was talking about, so maybe I was just coming back to show you guys that, but once again, here I am 
doing a bunch of nonsense. I don't know what's wrong with me. I am about to cut this part of the video. That's right. This is where I went to the next video clip. So I was signing off actually. But we ain't going to have to worry about that since I added this next video clip into the video. So here we are. That's one damn tiny hole. You telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, Dreads, what are we going to do? We're going to go down. But damn, man. That thing gives me the chills. So. <clears throat> we drop down. And we get this ether. That's right in the middle of the path. <clears throat> if you missed that item, then... Uh, I feel sorry for you. And we've got all these things in the way. We can kill them all. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to take many battles out of this because I do have the times three speed on. Except during significant parts of the game. So when we head down here, we're going to go to this ladder that is closest to us because there's really no point in going to the other ladder because you will find out in the next area because I'll mention it. Even though that your friend, I think Wedge, is over there and you can stop by and say hi to him, but it really doesn't affect the game, so we are not going to do that at all. We're going to fight these guys. And then we are going to head on to the next part. And I just like fighting to gain experience. I was trying to get everybody to level 10 at least before spoilers and an upcoming boss fight. But come on guys, how big of a spoiler is it really? We've just been sent on our second mission, so obviously there's probably going to be a boss fight at the end of it. Especially since we're blowing up another reactor, and the first reactor we was in, we had to fight an enemy. Okay, so she pretty much is telling us that it was her bad that they even caught us that fast, or the security checkpoints caught us that fast. Because she messed up on the IDs, and... As you can see, some people do miss that item. I don't feel as bad about them because that item can be hard to spot. So, we're going to come right up here. Talk to Biggs. We're going to pull out now. We'll meet out at the hideout. Dreads, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. Yeah, no problem, guys. So, grab the tent. Hit the safe spot if you want. I think I... I think I do actually save it because I healed my guys right here. So. I mean, if you do not want to and you're good on your health and stuff, you do not have to because they are going to be another save point coming up shortly. Actually, there's a couple coming up shortly. So. But anyway, back at the area with Jesse, if you actually went the other direction than we went, uh, you would have came out by wedge. That's why I said we don't really need to go up that way. We're trying to make this quick as possible. So, Smoggers and Special Combatant. And the Smoggers actually do have a uh, attack that inflicts poison, I believe. So you may want to watch out for that. But as you can see, this reactor looks very similar to the uh, to the first reactor that we blew up. Of course, there's no Jesse, but there is bars exactly where Jesse was standing in the first reactor. Kind of, kind of uh, uh, ironic that they ended up putting bars where they had memory of a player standing I guess you know they had that spot open in this reactor to do as well and as as you see I save I try to save a lot so I don't have to uh, go back through parts and we are going into a flashback Papa Sephiroth did Sephiroth do this to you 
Sephiroth, Soldier, Mako Reactors, Shinra. I hate them all. So, now we have heard mention of the great Sephiroth. Damn, man. Get a hold of yourself. Thank you, Barrett. I really needed that. You alright? Tifa. Hmm? No, forget. Come on, let's hurry. So, we're gonna run up here. We're gonna start the bomb. And we do not have a timer this time. Hmm. Smoggers. And, uh, I'm pretty sure these enemies may be new. I did not pay attention to see if we already fought them. But, blood tastes. And they are a red, uh, jaguar looking. A red cat of some sort. Looks like a jaguar to me. Or a, uh, not, did I say jaguar? I meant a panther. Yeah, panther. Or is it a panther? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and we're in more some battles. So, anyway guys, there is a very interesting part coming up. And, uh, actually I do have to cut this part, but I cut it at a safe point, so that's nice. We got a deadly waste, which uh, I think inflicts bio on enemies. But, uh, before we actually fight the boss, but I've already got all of it recorded, and I'm actually going to do the voiceover right after this one, and upload it at the same time as this one. That way, we can, uh, we can get this part to you guys with the without any delay like the actual finish to this part and then we'll be learning about another uh, character in the next episode which is very nice and interesting and one of the most beloved characters in the series so and a person that also plays a big part to the story if you've never played this you are going to uh, you're going to have a very fun time. Anyway, so the thing here is to hit it all at the same time. I am horrible at this mini game. Like I am garbage at it. And I end up taking and putting on the times three speed. I was way better at it on PlayStation One, but I I don't know what is wrong with me on this version. Uh, I guess I'm used to the speed of the games nowadays, so that's kind of a throw off. Anyway, a save right here, but then we're going to get in another battle, and I'm going to save it again, so I guess it's kind of pointless that I did this here. So, sorry guys. Or maybe not. This might be where I save it. I don't think so, though. I think I can battle one more time. But yes, like I was saying, there's very interesting things coming up. The story starts to broaden out a little bit more. Some inter very interesting situations occur here in the next uh, few episodes. So you guys will really enjoy it, especially if you have never played the game before. Uh, so I'm excited for all you guys. And... <clears throat> So we're going to wrap this up, I'm going to battle these guys, go back, save it one more time, and then, uh, yeah, I'll be doing the voiceover to the next part of the video. This has been Dreads, thank you all for watching, like and subscribe, and have a nice day.